Welcome to Iron Man Raid Specialist, featuring Quan Man Raid. The goal of this series is to acquire gear and skills to perfect a Raids Willing Specialist account. Every 75 Raids I can go for 1 of 19 upgrades necessary to build this account, ending at 1500 Soul Raids. Please enjoy the series. Ah, uh, nothing. But it's okay because there we go. 1200 KC has been reached. So that means I can go for my next humble upgrade, which is going to be the chain skirt. So, a, a small, modest upgrade, but it's gonna feel good, you know? It's gonna feel good at least. Alright, it's time to go back to Vorkath. I gotta stock up on some Dragon Bolts for both Raids and, of course, Armadil. So, trying to get like, I don't know, 2k total. Would be nice. Dragon rubies are looking low. We're just gonna use normal rubies and diamonds since uh, Warcath is pretty easy with DXGB. You might be wondering what those green potions are. They're actually just regular anti-poison. I bought a bunch of these for the early Zora grinds. Never did end up using them all, so I just use them on Warcath. It saves me on like having to make anti-venom, which is scale saver and torso saver, so it's nice. And yeah, it's pretty comfy. I can still do like Probably two to three kill trips, no problem. Just using uh, anti poison. Just gonna drink about two to three doses a kill, I would say. Okay, yeah, I'm I'm just gonna do two kill trips because this thing eats up a lot. It's a good balance of not overusing your supplies and stuff. Dragon balls, let's go! First one only took like uh, uh forty kills, thirty seven kills. Oh man, that took a minute. Oh well. Oh shit, I got it. Hey, I'm done. I believe this is it. 1031 Dragon Bolts. Okay. I'll just finish this trip. Sick. Oh, I got it. Hell yeah. Armadale test. Sick. Didn't take too long. Did not take too long. Here we are. I already got the test. Oh, stamina. Yeah, I need a pre pot of stamina. So I can just run there as fast as I can. All right, time to go back to Armadale. It's been a little bit, so I, I'm going to assume the first trip or two is going to be a bit scuffed, but hopefully it goes good. I have the Armadale chest plate this time, which will make it a little bit easier than last time. But yeah, same setup, no chin method, you know, no chin method, just good old freezing, barraging, and uh, bones to peaches, and a bit of kiting, Armadale crossbowing. I don't even know what to name this method, honestly. It's just a crazy amount of stuff all put together. So, God Wars got updated a bit so that Iron Man's and main accounts get split rooms. So, essentially, it's almost like two rooms per world, just one for each type. Not a big deal for Armadale, I guess, because I never really had problems finding worse for Armadale, but a Bandos, though, that's gonna be. Interesting. I still need to get tasks as a bando, so that's gonna be awesome. Gonna have a much easier time finding worlds there. Whoa, what? How does this work? Oh, wow, this private instance is weird. So I covered this strategy a bit more in depth in my previous episode where I killed Armadale for the body. Uh, I think I'll put a link in this video at the top or something but the main things to focus on is staying away from the melee guy by freezing it and keeping a large distance if possible keeping your augury on in between your range hits so that you can take more damage and reduce damage taken and also if you're near the boss try to go under the boss in between hits so you can reduce its attack as well it yeah all adds up if you have an acb use those specs it helps a lot where's the melee guy Oh, chance skirt! Uh, oh my god, no way, dude. Uh, wow, we just started to. <laughs> wow, we we're just talking about it. Wow, damn, that was the shortest grind ever. The chest plate took a while, but hey. Damn, that was crazy. Only one trip. Only one trip. I didn't, I didn't even need my slaughter bracelets, I guess. <laughs> nice, 500 KC for both. That's definitely not bad at all, bro. Damn, that's crazy, bro. It's time to move on to the Ferocious Gloves at 1275 Race KC. So we gotta start zooming. Because I'm looking forward to using the Ferocious Gloves. 
take this. Oof. Damn, that magic accuracy, though. We got our new uh, range setup now, boys. Another bit of more magic accuracy and another three range bonus over the dehyde. So, yeah, that's uh, very good. Definitely very good. Worth it. Alright, if this tecton is super fast as a result, though, then it's worth it. Oh, it's over. It's over, bro. I ran too early. Great. Oh my goodness. This is uh, no Envil Tecton. Ha! It was worth it. Alright, made up, made up, made up. I had an Ice Demon before Tecton, but I decided not to use the spec on it so I can use it here, and it was worth it in this case. Oh, that was so sick. Oh my god. Damn, bro. If I get DMC'd. No way! That's so troll. Actually, no, no, no. I can do this. Yes! <laughs> that was freaking clutch. Oh my god. Let's go. Ooh, that's a pretty cool idea. Good thing my brain knew how to do the math there. So, not a bad idea. Ooh, nice flame. We got that flame dodge going. Ooh, that was a good slide right there. Oh, purple. <laughs> All right. Okay, let's uh, let's let's uh, let's get this uh, purple. What could it be? You know, holy shit. Ooh. Oh, I'm happy with that. Nice. Very nice. Do the spin for the win. And it's another arcane. I think my last three drops were arcanes. <laughs> oh. Oh my goodness. Perfect. See, if I use piety, it would have reset it. You have to be the bigger brain, you know? Oh, back to back blood runes, dude. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Please. One of my favorite drops from, uh, chambers right now oh yeah i forgot this layout exists but it's not a bad layout it has a uh, agility room in it as the only skilling room so so yeah i guess it's doable you still get technically everything you need nice we did it that was so much flicking though definitely a layout not beginner friendly because you have to do fispula without overloads and you also risk not having enough prayer because vanguards sometimes just don't drop restores nice i kind of did that one on purpose man i had so much food and then i didn't have any food freaking ran out of charges with my trident <sighs> let's see let's see what happens if the ruby bolt procs oh Oh, are you serious? Damn, it only hits a 28. That's so sad. Okay. Whoa, back to back though. <laughs> back to back though. I've been practicing the 7-3 Mage Scythe method a lot because it's so much more DPS over what I currently have otherwise with like the rapier and stuff. But yeah, it's really hard and I'm finally getting pretty good at it so that I can like, you know, deal with a lot of different variables like poison and like crystal and stuff like that. But yeah, it's gonna be so worth it though. Once I get it really, really down uh, for like the later speed runs with better gear, oof, it's gonna be nice. The times are gonna be so good. I'm getting my, my, my food drained so hard right now. Yeah, only downside of this method, it's fast, but damn, you take a lot of damage. Back to Zora for a bit, because I gotta get some more scales, baby. All that blowpipe trident, you know, it ain't free. Need to get like 50k. Oh, damn, what the hell? First kill of the day, I, I uh, went under a sub, uh, under a minute. Alright, that's pretty badass. I remember someone yesterday asked me like, hey, is it possible to get sub 1 without like a T-Bone stuff? Okay, that's a major... That's a melee guy. Nice. Oh, damn, it already died. Easy, 2000 KC right here, boys. Oh! Ah, damn it, dude. I, I had a feeling too, bro. Perfect. The four-way traffic right there. Some deaths are just inevitable. But it's alright, you know. A death here and there 
keeps you humble. And uh, this one is not that bad. I'm finally at 1275, so... Armadale Chainskirt didn't really pack that much of a punch, so... We gotta go for something that is more impactful. The Ferocious Gloves, baby. Extra accuracy, extra strength bonus for uh, max hits and stuff. So that's gonna be a big punch. And then what's after that? It would be at 1350. I decided we're gonna go for the Tacits. So that means the Lance is the last. Because yeah, I'm trying to tie the Feral Gloves in and the Tacits in with, uh, with TOB, you know, for saying stuff, I guess. The first Tacit ever. Oh wow, it is. Oh my god. That's actually insanely lucky. <laughs> Yo, I, sh I shit you not. This is not a, this is not like a, a multiple attempt. I literally just got on the first try. So, uh, yeah. Hell yeah. 139. Oh man, I kind of got cucked on the size amount though. It's not that much, but with slaughter bracelets, we can make it like, what, an extra 40 kills or something? So yeah, uh, I guess close to 180 or something, really. Alright, so I totally forgot that there really isn't a great, amazing teleport outside of the fairy ring, if I don't do the diaries, to get to Hydra, so... I'm gonna actually have to complete the diaries. I looked at the diaries, and it doesn't look too hard. It looks pretty easy. The Kebbles diaries, current Kebbles diaries. And that's the first task done for this grind. But yeah, this would be my gear though. I'm just gonna go Dragon Hunter Crossbow Rubies. Tell the boss is like 300 HP or something. And then Blowpipe the rest. So that way I don't have to spam the Blowpipe and use up a ton of skills. Like Blowpipe's better DPS, but this is pretty good DPS early. Because of the Rubies. Because of the Ruby procs, so. Oof, damn, these Rubies are, are packing though, I, I have to say. Pog, okay. Nice, first kill was pretty smooth, but I got pretty lucky on the procs. I procced the, uh, what do you call it? I procced the rubies like five times that kill, Jesus. Nice, there we go. Electricity trap, classic electricity trap. Alright, the final task. That was really fast. Literally only took about an hour or so, but yeah. All the tasks are done. Nice. We're gonna be able to wear pegations too. And of course, just the teleport. The number one thing is the teleport. I'm gonna put this on to agility because uh higher my agility, the better for boosting to arty course. As well. So yeah, make the boost last longer. Get them marks from the Hardy course. And then Rada's Blessing, Mount Karm. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Ah, now we can do this Hydra grind much better. I need two items from Hydra, so it's worth it. Okay, this time we got the real setup here. Got the outs, some prayer pots, a wrench pot. Gonna get a bunch from the boss anyways, so... Ruby bolts and a blowpipe. That's pretty much it. And to poison, I guess too. So the range setup is definitely working really well. It's definitely in the low 10, sometimes under 2. And yeah, it kind of feels like a twisted bow at times. But the only downside is, man, the rubies, they be eating your HP up a lot. So I've noticed that I need to just bring more food because I take more damage from the rubies than from the boss itself. I might try actually uh, some melee methods actually, see uh, if there's any perks to melee, especially with the flame wall skip thing that people can do nowadays, it's actually quite uh, potential, quite the potential. Alright, let's try some melee strat. Ray Pure is my uh, best weapon outside of the scythe. But yeah, it's weak to stab, so... Yeah, we're just gonna use this and claws for a special attack weapon. Warhammer is not gonna be able to lower his defense much, its base defense is low. So yeah, let's give this a shot. 
I at least have some experience from Twisted League Hydra. With the rape here, so should be similar, I guess. Oh, always forget my slaughter bracelet. Come on. Come on. Dragon knife? Wow. Um, I just got trolled, man. Dragon knives. Okay. That's a slot to the collection log. Nah, not really. I don't. We don't do that over here, but god dang, dude. Bruh. Seriously? I saw that orange text and I thought it was going to be something good. Alright, uh, okay. So, uh, rapier times are pretty good. They're low two minutes, usually. Yeah, so low two minutes to like two thirties. Not bad. Crossbow blowpipe, I would say it's probably at least 10 seconds faster, but uh, it's a bit more annoying though. Because I have to like gather ammunition and stuff for it though, so. I actually like this a bit more. I'm gonna stick with this method for a bit. Probably mix it up, you know? This is a fast kill. Are you f***ing serious? How did I get two dragon knives in 26 kills? Bruh. Come on, bruh. I almost smiled because I saw an orange. I was like, yeah, yeah, unique, and no, it's just... Dragon knives again! What the heck? <laughs> I... <laughs> so as you know, there are mandatory items I have to go for. They're usually pretty strong or pretty reasonable to get, as in it doesn't take too long. But there are also bonus items like Scythe or like Tebow and stuff like that that I could go for. That isn't mandatory, but would absolutely help me out a ton with the Chambers of Xerix times. And I've been trying to get this Sang Staff, which is one of them, for a long time now. And we're pretty deep in, so I kind of don't want to give up on that. So yeah, let's keep going for the Sang Staff. Oh my god, that was so close. <laughs> Yo, you guys should not split up too early, bro. You never know, man. If we were one tick late, we both would have counted as dead. Oh! <laughs> Oh my god, I had an extra Halley. Oh, wow. Who's purple is that? Holy shit, imagine you get the Sang. Oh, what? You actually completed TOB. Wow, dude. We're never gonna see him again, dude. No more cameos for Booty Sensei, bro, because he's out of here. Fully completed. Nah, that's all good. It was pretty chill, you know, we, we had enough DPS. Good luck, boys. Ooh! Oh, someone got a purple, dude. Nice. Nice, nice. Damn. Yeah, we got some some PBs, apparently. I didn't even realize the raid was going so fast. Good luck. Oh, nice. Defender hill. Nice, nice. This was actually pretty cool. I put on my blowpipe so I can pop the poison crab. And I didn't think if I got bounced, I could actually attack. But I actually can't still attack. So, didn't really waste that much time. Oof, that was a nice spec. Oh, I got a purple, dude. Let's go. First red of the day. Let's go, man. Yes. What we need, the only thing I need, bro. The Sang Staff, bro. Here we go. Oh, man, I keep getting the Defender. Every single time. This is like the uh, third Defender in a row or something, dude. Oh my god, I got a back-to-back -back purple, dude. No way. Oh my god, dude, that's insane. Show sure appreciation for the RNG that has bestowed upon us. Here you go. Oh! <laughs> How is this possible, bro? No. The tease, bro. The tease. Oh, shit. Alright. Jesus, look at this stack. Look at this stupid stack. I, I gotta actually start selling some of these for some bond money. Mm. <laughs> oh my god. The Dude, I don't get it, man. My rate's pet luck is ridiculous. I actually got another. I actually got another one of these. Log. How many have I gotten? Oh, what? Okay, never mind. 
This is only my second one. It was probably because of the first like, pet that I got in uh, Trailblazer League that I got confused for a third one, but... Wow, my second one. Damn, I can't believe I'm actually at 700 Dear Blood KC without a Sang Staff. That's actually nuts. Just for comparison, I actually finished Dear Blood on my main account at like 700. So yeah, to not have the Sang Staff is uh, a bit unfortunate. We're like one and a half times dry. Luckily, this item isn't a mandatory grind for the series. It's just an optional grind. But I'm definitely going to have to set a hard cap so that if I reach it, I'm definitely going to have to stop. So I say a thousand theater blood KC would be like a good stop. Maybe even less. It really just depends on how much time I have between the upgrades, you know. So I definitely want to have to wrap it up before the series is over on that one. Hopefully I get the saying staff so we don't, you know, kind of waste the uh, effort that we put in into grinding these KCs. Thank you guys for watching today's video. If you found this video to be enjoyable, consider giving it a like. We also have a friends chat. Feel free to join that if you want to hang out. And also, consider subscribing and ringing the bell. That way you will get all video notifications. And if you have Amazon Prime, feel free to subscribe on twitch.tv slash ricecup and you can financially support me for free through Amazon Prime. Anyways, thanks for watching. See you guys later.